Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and today I'm going to give you some advice for your drawing or art needs, ventures, whatever. <laughs> um, I hear a lot from people, how are you so skilled at art? How do you draw so fast? Why can't I draw as well as you? I wish I had your talent. And even, I can't even draw stick figures. My reply usually is, it's magic! <laughs> uh, but the truth is, everyone sort of has a skill tree, like in video games, and you need to put your skill points in, in this case time, to the skill that you want. I've been drawing since I was five and been drawing seriously for about 18 years. It's been my source of income and my business for about 10 years. So a few months or even a few years does not make one skilled at art. I dumped most of my skill points time into drawing. Today I'm going to give you some advice for drawing, but keep in mind I am a self-taught artist, so I always recommend that you take an art class if at all possible. First and foremost, remember, there's always going to be an artist better than you out there, and your art is always going to be better than somebody else's. It's so easy to compare your art not being up to snuff because you're comparing it to somebody who has been training or painting or drawing for decades. Also, many people don't broadcast their failed artworks or sketches, so instead of looking at how much better others' art are compared to your own, just look at where your art was. Having a social media like Instagram is good for this because you can scroll through your past works to see the improvement. Don't forget, if you're striving to have art as good as another artist, chances are they are still creating and improving on their own art, so it's going to be difficult to play catch up to them. You have a style, and that style will only change if you study and practice to change it. So if you draw every day in that style without actively trying to get better, you will not get better. You'll most likely just be reinforcing that particular style. So, I've been drawing for a year, I should be better by now, just won't cut it. You'll need to try different techniques, other styles, maybe take some classes, follow some tutorials. Just keep this in mind when trying to actively improve your art. Tools don't make you better at art. Having the best and most expensive brands of art tools, paints, programs, drawing tablets, etc. will not make you better at art. Having professional tools does not make you professional. A simple pencil and sketchbook will work just fine for starting out. You'll need to start learning, and once you get more serious into your craft, that's when you can start investing more money into it. Just remember, tools don't make the artist. This isn't really a drawing tip so much as a health tip, but protect your wrists. Most art shouldn't be drawn with your wrists, and many new artists or self-taught don't know how to draw with using the elbow and shoulder. It sounds weird, but it'll protect your wrists from carpal tunnel, and it'll also help you give you straighter lines in the long run. Now don't get me wrong, there might be some times you will use your wrist a little bit, but for, for the most part, you should be keeping your wrist fairly still. Learn to break everything around you down into shapes. This will help when starting out. Remember as a child drawing a square with a triangle on top and it was a house? Like that. This can help you with work on most of your art pieces, especially if you're having trouble drawing something in particular. You can start broad before refining in more details. It's pretty fundamental, but many people never learn this. On the note of fundamentals, learn figure drawing and anatomy from real people. Even if you want to draw cartoons or anime, all artists learn and practice figure drawing. It helps you learn proportions before moving on to a stylized look such as anime. You can take sketchbooks outside and draw people around you. I used to go to a coffee shop and draw people in there. With the internet, you can search online or scroll through Instagram for images to practice figure drawing. If you want to practice more anatomy and you can't afford the very expensive anatomy books, I recommend trying porno mags. It may sound a little weird, but try it for something a bit tasteful or even Sports Illustrated swimsuit for female anatomy. They are usually posed very distinctly, and since they wear little to no clothing, it makes a really good reference. Men's bodybuilding magazines can also help with male anatomy. Usually the muscles are much more defined 
and lit in a way to where you can see them. That being said, if you're underage or if pornography is something that makes you uncomfortable, you don't have to go with that. You can search online for people in swimsuits or on the beach. One of the downsides to using adult magazines is they tend to feature only one body type, which doesn't really help in learning the variety of shapes and sizes people come in. Tracing art is okay for learning. If you're really struggling with how to proportion faces or anything, it's okay to trace someone else's work to understand how they got to that result. Tracing is not okay if you are then going to show it off, being like, hey, I did this, or even worse, try to sell it. That's illegal and is considered plagiarism. But if you're just using it as a learning tool and it'll stay in your sketchbook or maybe an unsaved digital file, then it's absolutely fine. You are using it as a learning tool. Use references when drawing. Even the most experienced artists use reference when creating artwork. Reference doesn't mean to do a one-to-one -one copy. That would be plagiarism again. But do use a reference for pose or lighting or maybe clothes folds. References are your friend and will be with you for quite a while, especially when learning. To check how the art piece is looking, try flipping the piece over. If it's traditional, you can flip the paper upside down and hold it to a light. This will give you an idea of what is looking slightly off. If you are having trouble with light sources, I recommend drawing a little sun on your paper to remind you where the light is coming from. Also, if you're really struggling, try using some 3D models to help with the shadows. Drawing faster should only be something you consider after you've gotten comfortable with your art and style. Most of the faster artists I know use shortcuts and mostly had to do it because of a deadline. They're comic artists. So if you do feel comfortable and you wanna know how I go faster, then here are my shortcuts. Not doing a completed sketch phase. You can save time if you skip over sketching. Put down a basic shape, an idea of a face can be enough. Just ink over it, adding in the missing details. Keeping art simple and not overly detailed can help streamline the process, making you faster as you go along. Not doing cleanup. Cleanup is when you erase lines that cross over or are going outside boundary boxes. It can look a little bit sloppy, but usually you can get away with it. Blobby bits. Backgrounds or background characters may be missing vital details such as faces or depth, or even blobs are just colored in in order to represent something without actually having any detail. A lot of artists tend to use this when working off far off depths, mostly seen in paintings, but it can also be used in illustration as well. Using 3D models instead of sketching. Using a 3D model as a sketch layer for people or models for backgrounds that you paint in your style can save a lot of time, and many artists I know use this. When coloring, don't get too particular about corners. Sharp tips in drawing tend to not get colored in if you're using a paint bucket tool. And it's okay if you're drawing for a deadline and you don't fill in every little gap. Most of the time, it won't be noticed. Using one or two colors to shade a whole picture and then applying it digitally via a multiply or linear burn layer. These are a few of the ways that I use to speed up my process when drawing. A good way to practice for this is to also try 24 hour comic day. It's a yearly event, the first Saturday of October where participants have 24 straight hours to draw 24 pages of a comic. This really trains you to learn what and where you can skip the details and how to streamline your process. My final tip is don't take on everything all at once when learning. Start with the basics, shapes. Move to figures and objects. Move to basic colors. Move to shading. Move to basic composition. Move to simple color theory. Move to experimenting and exploring. And once you get to this point, it's okay to move into that anime or cartoon style. It's okay to mix and match styles or try new things. Not everything will turn out good. In fact, a lot of getting good at art is failing. I have probably 50 sketchbooks of failed doodles and drawings that will never see the light of day. After I feel I've moved past that part of my artist's life and I don't find it inspiring anymore, I often take them into the backyard and burn them in the fire pit. Don't be discouraged over failed art. You will have more failed art than good art when learning. But you're still learning. Also remember, some days are just bad art days. 
you may hit a drawing block or even your drawings look like poop. I recommend taking a break of those days. If there is a particular idea, sketch it out or something similar and save it and come back to it on a better drawing day. A lot of these are based on questions I received or I felt were important to know. I know people want a quick learning tip to suddenly become amazing at drawing, but it does take a lot of time. I hope my advice has helped you out a little bit in your art or drawing endeavors, and if you have any art questions or if you'd like to see me do more of these, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos from me, then do the subscribe and the likes and all that jazz. And remember, I love you for supporting me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye